Kyle for this week's video I'm covering a super legacy item <laughs> actually it's not really that legacy it is a legacy item uh, there's not too many computers that will actually have this anymore most of it is all SATA I am covering the old IED standard hard drives slash CD-ROMs used to use these the IED cable is what this actually is here IED cable is different than a SATA cable it's a different way of hooking things up it is a legacy item uh, any computer nowadays should not really have IED if you have an older computer like this motherboard I have here has actually IED and SATA on the board I've showed this on the motherboard video before here, here is your IED port right here is a SATA in the old days you wouldn't have IED you just had the SATA ports and you would have a smaller port that would usually be another ribbon cable like this but smaller that would be a floppy cable so I wanted to cover this because it's going back to where the technology came from where it's at this motherboard was great because it actually had both technologies on here so I could show um, that this technology is pretty much interchangeable it is compatible with each other the speeds are hugely different hugely different what is on here is all legacy now because most likely these ports here are SATA 1 so it would be a legacy even these SATA ports are legacy you don't want to use that anymore um, I have videos out and I'll have more coming on SATA we have SATA 1, SATA 2, and SATA 3 at the time of filming SATA 3 is the current generation that is out everything else is slower they are backwards compatible so you can use a current SATA drive on this port problem is, is you won't get the speed you would get on this port as you would on a new board so that's it for that compared to that but I wanted to cover IED IED has gone through a lot of variables if you go online you'll see there's IED cables that are been cut folded together they even made some that are aerodynamic kind of cables where it has a sheeting around it so it's round um, there's different speeds of IED this looks like one of the original IEDs I believe it was like IED 3366 100 133 I believe there was like a 166 when you got into the like 133s these little wire channels got really tiny you could see a difference if you held the two together you could actually see a difference in the different wiring and that's all just speed that's the data speed you know you're talking about you know 133 megabyte or whatever the transmission speed was at those days and those were like bumped up motherboards that had these speeds most of them were kind of a generic cable that you could use the hard drives were different than an IED I'll go into a little bit more of that in a second but you can see there's all these pins I know I've shown that on my hard drive videos and a couple other places but I want to really elaborate the IED other thing 
why these are truly well I would love to say this drive is a truly legacy drive we're getting there it's not quite there yet the IED standard is legacy this is a mechanical drive there's not a whole lot of good computers now that are using mechanical drives only reason nowadays at the time of filming to use a mechanical drive is due to the data size you can get some very very large drives right now in mechanical the solid state drives and the m.2 drives don't have as much capacity or aren't as big as these drives they're getting larger every year they're getting more capacity more capacity more capacity pretty soon these will completely be legacy they won't be around anymore because the speeds and how these actually function is they can basically only do one task at a time there's heads in there that move and read data it can only read data one place at a time this drive is not designed to run and read a bunch of multiple places all at once the new drives the solid states and and those can read multiple locations and pull up multiple data at once so that is one factor with these in the old days you had slower cpus slower computers slower memory that this wasn't really the slowdown on your system today if you have a slow system it's odds are because you have a mechanical drive in there if you change the mechanical drive put in a solid state drive it'll speed up your computer because the drive will run faster you can do more things same as a single core going to a multi-core processor going to a multi-core processor to one that also has hyper threading will speed up your computer will speed up processes basically that's the same thing that's going on with these hard drives going back to the connections SATA has one cable goes to one drive IED has one cable that goes to two drives usually you put your primary on top your secondary some of them don't really matter some of the older editions had a blue cable and a red cable some of them had a little plastic piece that stuck out so that you knew which way it would go in here the little notch down here on the bottom that would help you line that up because one of the factors is is in here there is a pin missing in oh this one doesn't even do it this cable can actually put it be put in wrong because it's an older style cable it has every slot open the new modern cables that one slot will be solid so you really need to be careful when you're dealing with IED because if you put it in upside down you can smash the pins that are actually in the connector because if you put the solid pin down where there's a pin you can smash them so that's one thing you got to watch out for This drive also is missing the pin. So depending on what version of IED drive and cable you have, there are some variables. There are actually quite a few variables. So this is another reason why I'm doing this video. But odds are you probably won't run across this anymore. Unless you're working on a really old computer that you have maybe just as a backup to store data on. There's not going to be a whole lot of people probably still running this kind of technology. Server-wise, it's different. 
servers will run a similar kind of drive, but it's not IEB. They have a different platform and a different array of pin configurations and how those drives hook in. The newest form is similar to a SATA drive. It's a different format. I'll try to get another video out on all the different kind of drives, backings and pins and all of that, and try to go into some of those coming up. But for right now, for IED, I want to touch on that so you're aware. There are some things that look similar. There are old SATA, old other formats that are out there that look pretty similar that have pins. But this one has the spacer. This one, it actually tell you how many pins. You'll learn those things. If you're really interested in this, you can look those up. You can figure it out. But I wanted to do a first look and an explanation of how this is done. One of the other factors that you'll find with IED is there's jumpers. This is the crucial part. To this configuration some cables will tell you oh you have to some manufacturers say the master has to be on this one or it has to be on the blue one truthfully the master has to have the jumper set as master slave has to have the jumper set for slave and then you hook them to the cable that's how the motherboard recognizes them so that's a major factor on how these are set up IEDs are different, much, much different. And let me pause this for a second. Again, jumpers are the key component to how this is set up. You set the jumpers as if it's the master. The master is the one that owns and controls the computer. That's the one that has your operating system, all of that on it is the master. The slave is the secondary drive that you can use for storing your data. This is just a short video because odds are you won't run across this. Maybe you will, but it's a helpful thing to know how these are set up. Um, other factor. Some motherboards have jumpers on them. A lot of times if you have these drives and you're destroying them, you can take the jumpers off, store the jumpers because you may need them on another component. Taking the jumpers off also makes it a lot better because if you destroy it, it makes it harder for someone to get the data off because they have to have a jumper. Jumpers aren't something that everyday person has. You at home as a home user if you have a drive that you took out of something and you have your data on it and you can't wipe it, can't clear it, can't get all your data off and you want to try to secure this data somewhere, pull those jumpers off. Put this drive away, throw the jumpers away, do whatever you need to. That will help secure this. Just another factor because you can't run it without the jumper. You got to have the jumper. So, I think that's all I really need to cover about IED. I wanted to show the pins, wanted to show a cable, but like I said, there's lots of variables in cables, lots of differences in the cables. Links, the spans between the two connectors, some are really close, some can be short. There's some that are really <laughs> funky designed. Um, where you can have a huge distance between these two because when you had computers in the old days you could get full towers that were giant things and you might want to plug in here and plug in up here and you know depending on how you want to set those drives up I don't quite understand why a lot of people set some of these up the way they did in the old days is they would put six or seven drives in there and 
hook the top one to the bottom one, hook the second one down. The, your cables were crossing instead of just going up, hooking two, two, and two, and run those cables down, because then you have to do your wire management. New computers have all the nice little panels in the back that pop off. You can run your wires through. Makes it a lot easier. Running something like this through a wire management and you have two or three of these are a nightmare. So I'm kind of glad to see this technology was gone. We're on a simple little cable. Um, you know, you'd have to buy special ones that were, were stripped and sealed and made smaller but then they weren't as flexible either they were really hard to get through spots and try to you know so i'm kind of glad to see this as legacy but if you come across it if you have an old computer at home go through some storage and you find an old computer you find this technology in there you know what it is you know it's old you know it's legacy um it's probably not worth keeping but if you have a board that has SATA, you might consider going out buying a small little SATA drive. They're pretty cheap right now. Cable, and you have a new modern drive on there. You don't have a mechanical drive. Load in the operating system, you're good to go. So that's one of the factors I want to bring up. That's why I love this board to show that you can actually see the port is on here with the newer ports so that you know what is going on. Again, if you don't know the technology, where it came from, how it involved, kind of makes it hard to know where things are going, to know. Should I upgrade my computer and should I put this in my computer or should I hold off? Well, if you don't know the histories, it makes it a little difficult. Then you're banking on whoever you talk to. If you're looking at building a computer or upgrading to know. Hopefully the person you talk to knows. If they're someone new in the computer field, they may not know. Because if you don't know, they may not know. But these are just the small factors I wanted to point out. I think that'll be good for the IED because it is a legacy item. If you need to know anything, need to put a comment down below. Go ahead, put a comment down below. I can make a follow-up video to cover any more detail. But I think I covered most of it. It's all pretty simple. It's basic. But it's legacy, so just wanted to put it out there to, so people are aware what IED is, what it looks like. You'll run across these drives. If you're in an IT field, sometimes they'll have these drives put away, stacked up, because they haven't destroyed them. And you go over and you're looking for a drive to replace to another computer and you're going to see these and go, what? <laughs> Why are these here? At least now you know. You know, some places keep a lot of things. I kept a lot of weird stuff. I have old CPUs. I got all kinds of crazy stuff in there that for port NICs, all kinds of stuff at home. So I would imagine a business might keep some stuff that they might need or think they need and it just stockpiles and when you go in, you'll find it. So there's a rough breakdown on an IED. You got the cable, motherboard, not socket, it'll be port, hard drive, hard drive port, other one. These took the old Molex connectors. I know I brought that up on my other video about hard drives. Check that video out. It'll go into the comparisons between the different drives. But I think that's it. Make sure you hit the subscribe. Hit the bell. You know the deal. I've said it over and over again. Subscribe. Hit the bell. Thank you.